So I just came to my grandparents. I'm gonna shoot my bow for a little bit because I just got it back from the bow shop, I guess. I had a guy, he put the string back on for me. I just wanna double check, make sure everything's still sighted in properly. You know, when you mess with those strings and stuff, you know, your cam and all that stuff can get realigned. Every time I go hunting, I see hundreds of geese like every time they don't always land but they always fly over and so i'm always telling my stepdad because he likes to goose hunt every time he comes out he never sees any geese so the other day we had our thanksgiving when my brother shot that deer and he's like where are all the geese i was like i don't know but i come out here today and look at this The one arrow is an older field tip, and I'm wondering if it's a different grain because that shot every single time is about an inch to two inches low every single time. I think I'm okay. I'm gonna shoot a couple more at 40 and then combine keeps getting louder and louder, so I'm pretty sure it's coming over cornfield by us. Like that really makes me want to hunt. I've always seen deer um, when I'm by a field that's being combined. I've been wanting to sit over here and I haven't got around to it. It's in between two bedding areas. There's neighboring property that has a bedding area. There's a swamp right here, which is also the neighboring property, a different neighboring property. And that tree right there, this tree right here, not the one that's going on a weird angle, but the one that's going straight up and down, that is a great climber tree. It's gonna be easy to get in and out of, but I have a perfect shot straight in front of the camera, which is the main path that they walk out of here. I will usually like to keep it simple and just hunt a couple different stands. With the rut starting up, the deer are gonna be moving a lot more, so I just wanna have a third option, and hunting that woods would be a great option. Shoot, I'm gonna get stuck. Shoot. It's really wet right here. You know, all the deer like to hide in that woods or they at least like to walk through that woods to get to their destination. So that's a, you know, a good option for me. All right, well, it's been three days since I've hunted. Sunday, my bow was broken. Monday, it's my music day with my son. Yesterday, it was about 20 mile an hour winds all day and it rained the whole time. I stayed out of the stand. I really wanted to go to. I was depressed because I wasn't in the stand. I wasn't depressed, but I was sad. Now I'm headed out there. It's pretty breezy today too, but it doesn't show any rain in the forecast. One thing I gotta be concerned about and consider when I'm going out hunting is I gotta make sure my cameras are gonna be safe. Oh yes. I forgot the combine in that field. Son of a business. It looks like they're pretty close to being done with that field, but I can guarantee I'm gonna see a bunch of deer over there eating whatever corn falls out of the bin, and not bin, but you know, falls out of the back of the combine. They'll, all those deer will be over there eating that. And it's kind of a safe zone till gun season over there, but I can say that the wind has picked up a lot since this morning. Right now it's, it says 18 miles an hour, and it's supposed to get down to 15 miles an hour about an hour before dark. So it's gonna suck, it's gonna be cold. It's only 37 degrees with the wind chill. I don't know what it is. It feels like 28 with the wind and the humidity. Cause it's kind of humid, 73% humidity right now. So with the humidity and the wind, 15 miles an hour, between 18 miles an hour and 15 miles an hour in the next four hours. Hopefully I can make it. The other thing I'm concerned about, I'm gonna put my target out real quick. and Because my main shot is gonna be crossing the wind. So my arrow could fly to the right or left. So I'm gonna take a couple shots real quick. Well, I'm definitely not shooting over 30. So I'm walking out to the barn and here's my stand. It's 1.30 in the afternoon. Oh, son of a gun. I already spooked up. I didn't really spook, they were just, they just came out of the fence row. Probably like 15 does. And now right now I'm walking to my stand and there's another doe on the opposite side of the fence walking to my stand. It's already started off bad. Halfway out the field, deer comes up into the pasture, followed by another one, followed by another one, followed by another one. Probably 15 does and one buck. It was a nice buck. It looked like the buck I had right beside me the other night that, that went 15 yards at eight point. I put some doe urine out, walk over to my stand, there's a four point buck, probably about 80 yards down, looking right at me. So I get down on my knees, he puts his head down, starts walking. And I look down the fence row and a buck and two does just take off flying across the field. So then he leaves. I'm really mad at myself because I should have just went out this morning. Had my wife take the kids to school and just never left. Just sat here all day. I 
totally forgot about them combine in the corn. So if I see a deer tonight, let alone get a shot at a deer tonight, it's gonna be a miracle. Well, I got four hours. buck from a couple weeks ago I can't I couldn't tell for sure but he just walked across and went down into that fence row and I don't know if he laid down or what what he's doing I don't I don't see him at all now it's 2 30 in the afternoon deer are definitely moving right now it'd be great if he walked down and walked back across I don't see him anywhere like because that field just opens up so if he would have crossed and kept walking I'd, I'd see him right now and I don't see him He's either making a scrape in there or he's laying down. Knowing the time of year it is, the time of day it is, and the fact that it's the rut, he's probably making a scrape right now. weeks ago. I don't think he's as wide, but he's taller. I think that's the buck I saw the other day when my brother was out here hunting. My brother got his buck.
So that's it for this video. There was a lot of deer, a new buck. I'd say it was a pretty good night of hunting. I'd like to see one cross the fence and get an opportunity to harvest a nice buck this year. I'm gonna try to go out hunting here in a couple hours, so I'll have another video up for tonight. It'll be a long hunt because I, I plan on going out at like 11, 12 o'clock and then just sitting until six. Deer moving right now in the daytime, so I gotta get out there. But thanks for watching, comment down below, subscribe. Can't remember all the other things you gotta do. Like, yeah, hit that like button. I gotta go.